I'm so excited about this. You're beautifying the couch. Today we are kicking off <laughs> Black History Month and we celebrate achievements by African Americans as well as important milestones throughout our country's history. Yes. And founder and director of Black History Month 2012 organizing committee and amazing singer and good friend Kathy McGill joins us with details. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Nikki. <laughs> Along with Regina Dolly. Regina, welcome to you. Such a pleasure and privilege to have you. She choreographed and also is directing Rainbow Studio Theater and also actress Sandy Kay, welcome back, Sandy. Thank you, Nikki. Looking fantastic, appearing as Lena Horne in Roots Revival. I'm right. so thrilled about all of this. And Black History Month is celebrated in February. We talked about this just recently. We did. So let's talk real quickly about how the organizing committee is preserving the rich cultural heritage of African Americans. We're producing the very first annual New Mexico Black History Month Festival, and we got an entire month-long slate of activities mm -hmm. for Black History Month. And so we're doing that to raise the awareness about the cultural contributions mm -hmm. and social and agricultural economic contributions of African Americans yes. in the state of New Mexico and in the United States. Absolutely and of course here in Af in, uh, in Africa. In Africa. <laughs> <laughs> here, here in New Mexico African Americans have made so many contributions. I mean right. let's talk about some of those real okay. briefly. Okay well um, I, people probably don't know about Blackdom which was an all-black settlement down near Roswell. Um, Maybe people don't know about Buffalo Soldiers. Mm -hmm. May not know about Estevanico. Do you know who Estevanico you is? About it a little bit. Right. Estevanico was a Spanish Moor who mm -hmm. uh, was the first non native, and I want to make sure that I say that, that Native Americans were here in New Mexico. Right. But the first non native American to come to New Mexico yes. was a Spanish Moor named Estevanico. Yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. there's so much to learn and so many events. But one of the events that is planned, and, and hence why we're all here today, is Roots Revival, which chronicles African American history from West Africa to the present in song, word, and dance. Yes. So let's let's talk a little bit about, and speaking of dance, of course, you know, Regina has a, a really broad history uh, of choreography and dance, even on Broadway, uh, everywhere. And we're looking at video right now. Tell us a little bit, a little bit about what we're seeing. Well, this is um, the number A train. Okay. And um, this is a, the Harlem Renaissance segment of the show. Right there, that's Valerie Reese. She's singing Stormy Weather as at the uh. Waters. And this is Gabby Rojas. She's our principal dancer. She's fabulous from Denver, and she's doing a solo. Oh. Doing, and Kathy sings a motherless child. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the whole cast. Oh, yes. look at yes, the kids. Yes, yes, the children. Yes, 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 the children. The Happy and, and budding stars. Well, yes, you know, and Sandy, Dolly. what is it like to be playing Lena Horne? I mean, the legendary Lena Horne. I mean, we all have memories of her and, and what she gave to the world as a star. And what is it like for you to channel her? <laughs> what do you mean playing Lena Horne? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, you're wrong. Gotcha. <laughs> I made it to Hollywood, all right. Uh, Talk about stormy weather. Uh, MGM didn't know what to do with me. Oh they cast me as window dressing most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd sing a song, and by the time it got down south, they'd have cut it out the movie. Uh uh. It's all right. I got paid the same whether I got seen or not. That's right. <laughs> give me a few notes. Can you just give me a few notes? Please? She's window dressing. Yeah, uh, she's just window dressing. Darn. Yes, okay, you can do it yes. for her. Do it for her. Well, you know, we have to come see the show because at the waters. The show, we can't okay, we're teasing. Wine. We're teasing it's everybody. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a little. I'm do a little segue here because one of my favorite Cosby Show episodes was when Lena Horne was on, and the whole family went to see her perform. Right. And speaking of Cosby, you have worked with Mr. Bill Cosby. Yes, I was on his variety show with mm -hmm. Lola Falana back oh. in the early '70s. It was, it was a wonderful. I was a regular on the show. I had a big natural. Oh. <laughs> I love it, was, it. it was a great experience. I met so, so many wonderful talent. Uh, Harry Belafonte, Sidney oh, Poitier, gosh. you know, all of Foster Brooks, all of the comedians. It was a great, great opportunity. Talk about rich <laughs> experiences. And you just told me that you've also worked with Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. I toured with him for a year. What's going He's, on with yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my he goodness. Was, and, that, and so now being here and mm -hmm. choreo you know, choreographing this, this very special tribute, what is mm -hmm. that like for you? Uh, well, f 
first of all, it's, it's just such an honor to be able to, to pay it forward, mm -hmm. to actually to share my experience with the community. Yeah. That's why I, I wanted to, to have this theater. Kathy and I, we, um, you know, we said, well, why, why are we just waiting for the phone to call? Why don't we start our own theater? Yes. And, and I believe in non-traditional casting because I think you, can, you allow more people to get on the stage and have that experience. So Absolutely. That, that is, is so rich and, and is rare. You know, it's really an honor to be Good able point. to do that. So Good point. Yes. And you've got other events also I want to just mention yes. for the rest of the month, as you yes. said, all month long. Give us a couple of teasers on that. Um, so this weekend is Roots Revival. The yeah. following weekend we have a sweet potato pie contest. Yes, we'll I'm going to bring you a here. sweet potato pie. We're going to make wait. one here. So um, and then also with Dr. Verda Mae Grosner coming in to do a free lecture okay. at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Motown weekend. Give Can't us a little bit that. of a respect again. R E S P C T. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, we got Bernard Purdy coming in. And then the, the final weekend we have a great gospel competition. Uh. And people can sign up for the sweet potato pie contest and the gospel competition and come hang out with us Fabulous. all month long. And how can everybody come and see Roots Revival this weekend? What do they need to do? Uh, they can go on to our website, inandblackhistorymonth.com. Okay. And uh, you can buy tickets online, and or you can call the box office, 344-4542. And at that same website, you can also get a schedule of events yes. for the rest of the month so you can participate and support the community mm -hmm. and just enjoy the talent as well. Thank you all so much for being right. here. You, you are good. Yeah. <laughs> That's Lena. Thank you all so much. <laughs> and after the break, we are talking to Mommy MacGyver, Jennifer Monroe, about starting a home-based business. We'll be right back. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. The Santa Fe Winter Fiesta is happening now. Ten days of winter festivities continuing through this Sunday, the 5th, including great room rates at Santa Fe's premium hotels, discounts at restaurants, discounts on the ski mountain, great concerts, the Winter Brew Brew Fest, and tonight it's the Features with the Strange. Doors open at 7 p.m. Visit SantaFe.com for all your Winter Fiesta information. Santa Fe Winter Fiesta. It's an adventure up there.